No, everything's fine. <laughs> oh God. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Craig from Video Juice. Welcome back. We are here again today with another reaction to Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We are on episode two. On the last episode of Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, we got a new Cap America. Some goofy looking guy, we don't know anything about him yet. Uh, apparently they didn't want, they didn't want uh, <laughs> Sam to be Captain America. They made him give over the shield and then put it in a museum and then made someone else Cap. Sound lads, thanks. <laughs> uh, we had Bucky in therapy. He's crossing people off his list, making amends. And we had Sam. We learned a little bit of insight into his family and all that. And they went to get a, a loan out of the bank. And they were like, nah, man, can't be done. Can't be done. That was the gist. And we had some awesome, awesome action and stuff. And there's a group called the Flag Smashers that are going around with uh, red stuff, red handprints. So it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it. It's more, like, it's more in line with what Marvel has done before. You know, WandaVision was very different, whereas this is more, you know, it had the action and all that. Um, it was more in line with what, with what Marvel usually put out. But I'm enjoying it for the fact that, as I said last time, I like Sam and I like Bucky. And these are two characters we haven't gotten a whole lot of in the movies. Um, similar to what happened with Wanda, you know, they just fleshed her out in the show, even though she didn't get a lot of screen time in the movie. So I'm happy that we're getting that, especially with Bucky. I, I really enjoy Bucky and Winter Soldier. As a character, so it's cool to see. Um, it's cool to be getting more of him um, and Sam as well, you know. So and this post Endgame world and seeing how the world uh, readjusts and realigns itself with 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 everything that happened, you know, with everyone disappearing five years ago and then they readjusted because of that and then everyone came back, you know. It's <laughs> the world would be fucked. So it's cool to see that side of things as well, you know. Um, last episode came out really, really, my last video came out really, really late. As I said, internet went down and I was swamped and shit. So this video is probably going to be a tiny bit delayed as well. But I um, I put up the Q&A, but it was really, really late. So I don't think we got anything for it. I'm going to check. Awesome Cub in the comments pointed out that uh, GSP's uh, character's name is Baltrock. I completely forgot that. I wouldn't have guessed that either. It's been so long since I've seen Winter uh, Winter Soldier. Probably my favorite of the, uh, one of my favorite movies of the phase of the first, of the Infinity War saga, I should say. Uh, Winter Soldier, I think it's a fucking phenomenal movie. So we did not get any questions for the Q&A. As I said, I released it late. I didn't expect any questions. If anybody has any questions you want me to read out in the recap of next video um, about episode two, leave them down below or tweet at us and use the hashtag FalconQA. You can give me any questions. Uh, if you have any talking points for me or if you have any theories or just general thoughts about the episode if you want me to read it out hashtag it falcon qa um, i'm trying to keep it short because falcon and the winter soldier would be too long <laughs> uh, for a hashtag so yeah that's pretty much it the only question i was left after <clears throat> uh first episode was like did was the plan always to have a new cap and did they just not want sam you know because you had that scene where the guy was like you did the you made the right call you know giving us the shield putting it in the museum uh the smithsonian like was it always the plan did they say all that shit to get the shield from him but like you know what i mean did they just not want sam as falcon or as winter soldier or <laughs> as cap <laughs> third time's the charm um because that, that that's shitty that's really shitty if that is the case you know um, I wonder if it's just a situation where I've been thinking about this all week, like, because I wonder if it's a situation where they, because the new cap had a gun, <laughs> you know, so like, does he have powers? I would assume not. I would assume it's someone they placed there so that they could control him. You know, you can't really control Sam. They proved that with the with the Sokovia Accords. You know, he went with uh, with Cap, obviously. So he would be someone they couldn't control especially if he was cap whereas this new guy he could be more in line with what cap was before he went off and saved uh all the guys you know in in first avenger you know he was just he was just a face you know doing promotional material and stuff um so i wonder if that's what this guy is going to be he's just going to be advertising you know he's there as a symbol and they're just going to control him 
We will find out anyway. Let's check out the new episode. That's the new cap, right? I recognize that chin. <laughs> JW. That's the guy from... I've been a captain before. Oh, was he in? Obviously, but this is different. This 22 Jump Street? Is it? Isn't this suit? It comes with expectations, bro. <laughs> this new suit is interesting. John Walker, first person in American history to receive three medals of honor, ran RS-1 missions in counterterrorism and hostage rescue, the charts, in every measurable category, speed, endurance, oh. intelligence. Look, here's the thing. I'm not Dr. Banner, okay? I don't have, I don't have the flashiest gadgets. I don't have super strength. But what I do have... His guts. Uh, some feels like a brother. Wow. Cap is back. They're really flaunting him, aren't they? The Good to see you too. Oh, nice. Finally. <laughs> this is wrong. Hey, hey. Oh my God. So what do you want me to do? Call America and tell him I changed my mind? Huh? <laughs> Between androids, aliens, and wizards. <laughs> that's not a thing. That, that's definitely a thing. No, it's not. Every time we fight, we fight one of the three. So who are you fighting now, Randolph? I read The Hobbit in 1937. When yeah. It came out. So you see my point? No. When it came out. There are no wizards. Sorcerer is a wizard without a hat. Think about it. <laughs> I just, I just came up with that. It's crazy. Enjoy your ride, Buck. No, you can't call me that. Why not? That's what Steve called you. Steve knew me longer, and Steve had a plan. 15 seconds to drop. <laughs> <laughs> Get this fucking thing off. <laughs> oh. He could have pulled out the shield. It would have got caught in the trees. All of that on camera. You know that, right? <laughs> oh, excellent. <laughs> Get out of my face. Uh. White wolf. Hello. How are you? Good. What did I miss? Nothing. All right, let's go. <laughs> this is excellent. Alright, let's go. Although they look strong enough. <laughs> Couldn't it be someone guarding the truck? Can't the guy see that? He jumped in front. Why is that other guy not seeing him? Still in medicine. Vaccines. Bucky, talk to me. What's going on? She's guarding that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Are they all strong? Oh. It looks like it. No! I always wanted to do that. <laughs> oh man, they're organized. <laughs> they're in sync for the fighting. Oh, nice. Oh shit! Nice! Oh, he's got a partner. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> oh. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Oh, that was risky. Use the shield. <laughs> Those were all for soldier sale. I know. They are not doing too well. Oh. That was a bad idea. Why 
are you gonna do? You have no super strength. <laughs> Sorry about Red Wing. Are you not as good as Cap? <laughs> as Steve? What's going on in there? Does he always just stare like that? <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Easier if I had Cap's wingman on my side. It's, it's always that last line. <laughs> <laughs> they call you Robin the Hood. Every day Robin Hood. Love you. You nice and cozy. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're so welcome. Well, they've got fucking supporters anyway. <sighs> Yo, this has your name on the whole Who is that? Be smart. Long Long people. People. Whoa, whoa. We can't just run up on a man, beat him up, and take it. <laughs> I mean, you can, but <laughs> there is someone that you should meet. Who? Who? Who is it? Black Falcon. <laughs> black, like, black kid? <laughs> I got him, right? <laughs> Whatever, Hero. One of the ones that Hydra fear the most, like Steve. If I met you, mean I whooped your ass, then, yeah. I took half that metal arm in that fight in Goyang. But I see <laughs> he's managed to grow it back. It's because there's more of you and me out there. You and me. And we need to know how. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Oh man. Super soldier serum. You know what they did? They put my ass in jail for 30 years. Fuck. People running tests. Taking my blood. Get out of my house! Let's go, man. Let's go. Fucking hell, man. Hey, look, is this guy bothering No, he's me? not bothering me. Do you know who this is? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mr. Wilson. I, I didn't recognize you without the cockles. Fucking I'm Jesus, really man. Really sorry about this thing. Jesus. That is a bit excessive now, isn't it? I didn't tell anybody because you missed your court mandated therapy. It's like missing a check in with your PO. I'm sorry, Mr. Barnes, you're under arrest. Shit. That was not me. Christina! It's great to see you again. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You gotta be kidding me, you know him. The condition of your release session now. <laughs> you too, Sam. No, it's okay. I'll be out here with my That wasn't a request. I don't think that was a request. <laughs> Freaky Magoo over here. But Freaky Magoo. <laughs> it's my job to make sure that you're time for the soul gazing exercise i like oh this one though. God, thank you for i love this soul gazing oh, exercise <laughs> you're practically scissoring are you having a staring contest just blink oh they're like children all right <laughs> i love it threw it away like it was nothing so maybe he was wrong about you, and if he was wrong about you, then he was wrong about me. Oh. No, he wasn't. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, bro? <laughs> Bucky would fucking wreck him. <laughs> oh shit. Ooh, that's a lot of cars. Zemo. We're gonna go see Zemo. Ah, <laughs> the music. Oh, it's a nice way of tying him in. I assumed that he was out already, but obviously they still have him. Oh yeah, they still have him, all right. <laughs> this, um... <laughs> this show is going in a completely different direction than I expected and I absolutely love it. So, yeah, Zemo. 
and he's just still in jail. I thought that maybe, I thought that maybe something to do with the snap might have got him out, you know? Like either he got snapped away and then snapped back and like the fucking, all the prison could be open or whatever because if half the people went, or he might have stayed around for the blip and got out somehow. But no, he's still in there. It makes me wonder now, because I assumed that he was going to be the big bad of this show, you know? But it could be unexpected ally type thing, you know, where he's helping them from the inside. Um, or it could be a thing where he it swaps switches halfway through, you know? He's helping them for a while and then they need him and they get him out and then he betrays him or something. I don't know. We'll probably, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll get more insight next episode. But yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying this show. <laughs> I am, I'm enjoying this show. I'm actually... So I, I figured out, it's definitely your man from 22 Jump Street. I can't think of his name. Um, the, the guy playing Cap. What was his name? John Walker. Um, he was a lot more beardy <laughs> and hairy <laughs> in 22 Jump Street. But, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, throw it at me today. Um, like, I don't know. I'm still, I don't know how to feel about him, you know. He's... He doesn't have super he doesn't have powers, he doesn't have super strength. He's just a guy, you know. But I feel like they're trying to make us like him. Trying trying to make us be like he's not that bad. And I got that from this episode, you know. I was like he's not that bad, you know. He's just he's this he's this guy that I didn't write down everything. He had like three medals of honor and a load of other stuff and war vet threw himself on <laughs> a grenade four times with his reinforced helmet. Um but I feel like, you know, they could be setting us up for a turn. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just skeptical. I'm skeptical. But from at face value, he doesn't seem too bad. He's just a guy that wants to inspire and and be, as he said, be the best Captain America, America he can be, you know. Um, they did get their ass handed to him immediately, though. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Bucky, and, uh, Bucky and Falcon did a bit better. But, yeah. I'm interested. I'm into it. I'm into this dynamic, you know, and I feel like it's going to be interesting for the show. What was his friend's, uh, his, his partner's name? Lamar Hoskins. The bit in the, the bit in the truck. And he's like, uh, what did he call himself? Battlestar? A Battlestar. <laughs> and Bucky was like, stop the truck. I'm getting out. <laughs> Fuck this. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Azaya? 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 The, the, the guy that they saw in the house. Um, he he just another guy they successfully uh, put the super so uh, super soldier serum into right, and he fought Bucky when Bucky was with Hydra. That shit is crazy. I hope we get more on him. I assume we will. You know, I assume they, they maybe he'll they, he'll pop back up later on if they need something. But and he's still like he still has <laughs> full use of his strength. I'd like to know more. He was very interesting, you know. Um, his story, the little bit of his story that we got was tragic. You know, he he he, he was a hero and he um, he got thrown into jail then for helping. Obviously, we didn't get the full story on that, but he got thrown into jail and then they just experimented on him in jail, tested his blood and shit. That's tragic, man. It's fucking shit. I like, I like that they're not shying away from racism in this show you know we've seen it already in the two episodes we've seen it a lot with falcon uh, with sam uh, again this episode but the cops rolling up and instantly getting hostile you know um until they realized who who sam was it's 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 horrible to watch you know but i'm glad that they're not shying away f from it uh with the show uh, and again with Isaiah, i'm probably getting his name wrong i wrote it down but i i don't know um Isaiah. uh yeah, oh, it's, it's it's horrible. I hope we get to see him again. I hope he pops back up. Um, because he's. I want to know more. <laughs> I want to know more. I'd like to see a flashback. A flashback would be cool. Because if he had this, his uh, these interactions with Bucky tearing off half his arm. <laughs> um, I'd like to know more. I want more. Hopefully we get more. Hopefully we get more. I was wondering as well. You know the fight on top of the two trucks. Bucky ran past one of the trucks, jumped up onto the back like were the automated trucks because the guy that was driving behind should have seen him but he just drove normal 
until shit went down and then he pulled up alongside the other truck. But they were swerving and blocking and stuff. How did he not see? I thought that was a bit weird, I said I'd mention it. <laughs> yeah, so the, the, what the fuck were they called? The Flag Smashers? We got more on them this episode. I really thought they were gonna tie in with Zemo. I thought, cause she got that, what was her name? Is it Carly? I assume that's the, the, the head one, right? Carly Morgan something. Um, She got the text saying you something like, you stole from me, you're fucking dead or something like that. I assumed that maybe they were gonna tie in with Zemo or something, but obviously not. I like that we got more of them. There was, from what they counted, eight super soldier, eight people souped up. Um, They lost one, two in the last little bit, but yeah. Their, their, their goals and stuff are weird, you know. <laughs> uh, obviously, shit like if, if shit like this happened, like if if the blip happened in real life, shit like this would happen, you know. People would be salty about everyone coming back, you know. It, it's again, it's a, it's another uh, it's another view on a post end game world, you know. Because uh, as I said in the the recap, you have these people who were left on the earth after half the population was gone. They learned how to survive. They 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 rejigged the earth and their lives to survive in this weird new world. And then everyone comes back and now everything kind of has to rejig back to the way it was, but kind of not really because it's a different situation. Obviously the people who, who got used to stuff, some of them anyway, would have been pissed off and be like, let's fucking make it back the way it was. <laughs> so... I don't really, I don't agree with anything they're doing, but I can, you know, you can kind of understand why they would do it, but yeah, they're organized, man, and they've got supporters, they've got supporters, they killed Red Wing, R.I.P. Red Wing, R.I.P., hopefully we get him back, because he was fully snapped in half, <laughs> um, I should mention, I like Cap's, uh, I'm not even going to call him Cap, you know that, because he's not Cap, I like <laughs> Walker's new suit, you know, it's interesting, it's different. I think I feel like it's a bit plainer. The actual suit is a bit plainer. I like the star in the middle. I like the design of Cap's last suit. Um But I said I mentioned that. Bucky <laughs> mentioning that he read The Hobbit in 1837. Was it 1837? When it or 19 no 1937. 1837? Um when it officially when it actually was released was fairly funny. Bucky was great this episode. He just he's just a tragic character. His line about um if if Steve was wrong about you, that means he was wrong about me. That was that was um heartbreaking. You know, this is this is the reason why I wanted more on Bucky because he is this interesting. He has so much history, you know, and he is this interesting character that was broken and has come back from it, you know, and he his relationship with 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 Steve and everything, it's just was amazing his journey has been amazing and it's obviously not over and it's cool to see this new side of him you know and and, and it's a new side that he's still working on he's still working on bringing it out so uh, that's one of the things i'm looking forward to most about this show even now still going into it or going forward is um just bucky and more insight onto him you know the whole thing with the the trio what, what did they call the the three big ones the three things the androids aliens and wizards was fucking hilarious Oh man, I love that. A sorcerer is just a wizard with no hat. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. And so true as well. It's always one of the three. It's always one of the three. <laughs> uh, yeah. Except for the super soldiers. They're right on that. Um, this episode, I was really glad that we got... Um, we got Bucky and Sam meeting this episode because obviously that's that's what the name of the show is. That's what we wanted to see. But it's just them, them bouncing off each other. It is this buddy cop this buddy cop show you know and they're just they're just so they're just so they're always like a, a con they always have conflict between them you know it's just so funny they they're this rivalry going on you know when when but the bit <laughs> it's too low for a parachute and bucky was just like ah fuck it and he just jumps out and then sam is like i got all of that on camera by the way that slayed me so that's it's another thing I'm looking forward to most going into this show is just the comedy and especially with those two characters they just bounce off each other so well you know the staring contests oh it's so good so good um so yeah that is pretty much it that's pretty much it guys absolutely loved it again um 
The only thing I would fault this episode for is that the weird bit with the truck driver when he should have seen him. <laughs> but that's a small complaint. It's a small complaint. So let me know what you guys thought. Uh, give me your thoughts, opinions, um, anything at all. If you want me to read out your comment uh, in the recap of next video, hashtag it FalconQA. Do it down below in the YouTube comments or on Twitter for our Q&A. Um, any talking points, opinions, questions for me. Uh, theories anything at all hashtag at falcon qa before the next episode is out and yeah i'll be back next week with another reaction to falcon and the winter soldier i am also doing the boys at the moment if anyone has any interest in that i think i'm on episode five uh, episode four just came out so episode five will be out soon enough and that's pretty much it thank you so much guys for watching and we'll see you next time later So we can ride away